You ask the boss with a request for that That is our shame. Can you feel my pain? Something else on there. Yes, I love the vibe. See the light in As you can hear, the officer, while struggling with Mr. Wright, shouts, Taser, Taser, several times. That is part of the officer's training prior to deploying a Taser, which is a less. All right. All right. Let me let me read the headlines from Yahoo News. It says, ex-Minnesota police officer arrested in connection with shooting of Dante Wright. Former Brooklyn Center, Minnesota police officer Kimberly Potter was arrested and will be charged with second degree manslaughter in the shooting death of Dante Wright. I have an unpopular opinion on this one. And yes, this, this, is, this is Giuseppe and you are now engaged with the drama umbrella. We mobile today on the GoPro and this is a freestyle one. So I'm waiting for wifey. I came to pick her up from work Evidently, I'm a bit early, so I got a few minutes to dick around with y'all. What's going on, y'all? Um, today, I wanted to talk about... I didn't know what I wanted to talk about, but now I do. Dante Wright. Now, the other day when it happened, this happened about two, three days ago or something like that. Me wifey and my daughter were my oldest daughter were in the living room and we were talking about it and you know they are very emotion driven when it comes to police and policing and of course the dirty reputation that a lot of you have set unfortunately for the good examples and the good ones it's hard to even recognize the good ones now because the bad ones I was saying this is what I was saying too the bad ones get so much shine nowadays that the good cops it, it, it's starting to seem like there are no good cops because the bad ones get so much shine and that's why I feel like when you see or know of a good one, you should throw them up. You should thank them. You should let them know that you appreciate their service. You know, not just soldiers. We don't, I don't just appreciate your service if you're a soldier. If you're a cop and you're a good cop and you're doing police work out there, I appreciate your service. Giuseppe said that if nobody else did. And I know it's the unpopular thing to say right now. It's the unpopular thing to feel right now. But I, 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 I see every case individually. If everybody thought like that and generalized what we see on social media, it, it wouldn't even be any need for a justice system anymore because no one would trust any cop. and. As soon as the, a cop blinks, he'll be doing something wrong and he'll be getting written up or getting fired or... It just would be no order without some kind of police force, some kind of law enforcement. It's like they know when I'm doing this. So, this is my unpopular opinion now. And it's kind of what I was talking about in my show, Domesticated Beast. This is what I was saying. What I was saying was that police fear you when you're young, especially when you're young, and especially if you're young and black. It's a fact. They, they're not too big on the, on the courage department and on the common sense department for all that. Now... I gotta speak in this woman's defense. 
I'm going to speak in her defense. I think that kid did a foolish thing. I'm sorry, guys. But that's what fuck it, I'll say it means. Fuck it, I'll say it. I think you did some dumb shit right there, bro. Why? If you see you are surrounded by police officers, obviously you are in the process of being arrested. Okay? My daughter and my wife were arguing about something. He was scared. So you're scared, so you're surrounded and basically halfway cuffed. And you're going to pull your arm and jump and slip away and try to flee. Not outside of the vehicle, but use the vehicle as your escape. You got to be joking. You got to be joking. Now, if the cops are such savages, what the hell do you think is going to happen after you do that? That made no sense. I hate to down talk someone after their demise. I really do. And I apologize if I offend anyone with that. But that's not what I mean to do here. What I mean to do here right now, let me even state that, is show the lesson in it. The woman obviously was doing her job as a first responder or as the person on the detail for whatever stop or case it may be. The men were getting ready to arrest you. You pull away from the men, jump in the car, and attempt to blast off in it. Sure, they're going to tase you. What do you want them to do? Shoot you? So now, they allegedly made a mistake and you caught the gun instead of the taser. Well, I'm gonna say this, and taboo alert. If the taser didn't reach you and the gun did, if the gun didn't reach you, the taser would've. Why were you, and why were they attempting to tase you? anyway because of a decision you made not them not them this time out of all of them bro if she says that was a mistake on this one out of the million i could almost believe it why because of what you did i was shocked to see the thing you, the stunt you pulled right there, that you attempted to pull right there. I don't know where you thought you was going to run away to. Where did you think you were going to end up? Where did you, you think you were going to reach? How far did you think you were going to go? What did you think was going to happen? How did you think they were going to respond? Do you think they were just going to say, oh, Damn, he's scared. Back up, guys. He's going to make an attempt to run off. And we don't want him to hurt himself. Yeah? Really? They don't give a fuck that you're scared. You could be scared some more. Young people, don't do that dumb shit. If you know you're about to be arrested, stay calm. State your name. Put your hands behind your back. Do not attempt to resist. And pray to God you're with an officer that is competent enough to know what to do from there. Don't go making the situation worse. Don't go turning a creepy situation into a fatally possibly situation. Why? So you can go protesting and starting all this madness, another round of madness and hate. Because all this stuff does is divide people. None of it is good anymore at this point. Black, white, Chinese, Puerto Rican, don't matter. It's exhausting. It is exhausting. The real cycle of death. This is a continuous cycle of incompetency mixed with fear.
unfair, mixed with misunderstanding, mixed with lack of communication, proper communication, mixed with a bit of prejudice, mixed with bad training, mixed with uh, uh, poor professional protocol and poor professional protocol training, mixed with poor home and survival training, we're not just gonna put it all on the cops this time. That fellow did a horrendously foolish thing that day. Let me tell you, I'm saying that. I don't care who don't agree with me. They had you. There was nowhere you could go. I don't care if you were guilty or not. I don't care if you felt like you did something or not. There was nowhere you could go. There was nothing you could do. For you to even try to pull away and run off is turning yourself into an assault in their direction. And for you to try to jump in the vehicle makes you instantly a gunshot target for the defense of vehicular homicide or vehicular manslaughter. Off could have went somebody's foot. Somebody could have still been hanging in the door. Somebody could have been in front of the whip. Somebody could have been not looking and their arm is getting ready to get jammed in the door after, uh, uh, at the same time as you stepping on that gas pedal. Somebody's gun can get pulled out or confused. Confusion. That's all you started right there was a bag of confusion. And look, we always come out on the shitty side of that stick. You know that. You know that. Why would you do that? Son, why did you do that? Stop doing that, y'all. All this jumpiness only adds on to the police officer's jumpiness. Sometimes we need to learn how to chill, wind the window down, answer the question, not ask them, oh, so what reason, what I do, ah, 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 before they can get to explain it? See where they going with it. If you comply, give them everything they, you know they're gonna wanna ask for, that, you're, that you have to give up in the process. You know, your license, your registration, sit there and say not a goddamn thing they have to unless you have a warrant give you a reason eventually for whatever they stopped you for or whatever they're doing then that's when you get to read each other's disposition but some of y'all are getting yourselves killed before that can even happen my wife said I'm wrong. Those cops killed Sandra Bland for nothing. Well, that goes without saying. That's unquestionable that she was murdered. What I was saying, though, the cigarette. Let me take my glasses off to make this statement. There are some times that our blackness is getting us in trouble. Our blackness is associated with nothing but aggression and we all know this sometimes and I'm gonna say this fuck it I'll say it sometimes we too black for our own good and you know damn well what I'm saying and I'm talking to my people right now sometimes we we a bit much I mean we are a piece of work Sometimes we are actually too black for our own good. And I mean it when I say that. Sometimes we a bit extra with it. I feel like Ma should have outed the stogie before son asked her. It don't matter now. But this is the thing I practice whenever I'm pulled over. Uh, after I let them see me, take my seatbelt off, I first, even before that, let them see me out the cigarette. Now, I don't have to out my cigarette, but it sends a message when I out my cigarette without them asking me to. It says that I'm not up for no pissing contest. I respect your badge, please respect my life. I respect your job, 
And the fact you want to get back home to your kid, please respect my job. And the fact that I would like to get back home to my kid. It says all that. Just me out in it, out in the stogie before the cop asks me to. Not upon request. And especially not upon request after putting up a bit of resistance. That's our blackness. That's what I'm talking about. It's a different way to do everything. There's a certain way to do everything. Now, usually when a cop, when a, when a victim gets shot, you hear the cop sounding something like this. And I quote, Get on the ground now! Get on the ground! Open the fucking door before I kill you! I'll shoot you right in the face! Open the door! Nigga this, nigga that! Get out! Get on the floor! In this case, did you hear any of that? Be honest. I didn't hear any excitement. I didn't see jumpy policemen. I didn't see any of them ready to get rough with them. I saw a tall Caucasian officer strongly cuffing what appeared to be another Caucasian suspect. Whether he had a warrant or not, I don't know. Whether they pulled him over for a valid reason, I don't know. Why they were going to arrest him in the first place, I don't know. I feel like though, I do feel like, had he not pulled that little thing he did right there and allowed them to cuff him and place him in the vehicle, I think we, he would have been alive right now. My fault for feeling that way. That's just how I feel. I'm sorry. I, I hate that we are victimized by police so often. I hate the fact that I'm even having to do this taping right here based on this topic. I hate it all, but I want to still believe that there are good cops out there too. I know some police officers and they all happen to be good. I know some gentlemen that are retired police officers. I have ran into police officers on the road that I could look into and see that they got in it for the right deal the right reason and they are a hero i've seen some cops like that i know some cops like that yes i know some dog shit yes i've been underneath the nightstick of a few asshole cops in my time yes i've been beat by cops i've been falsely arrested by cops i've been falsely searched i've been harassed the whole deal my profile is the number one profile that 5 loves to fuck with. So, you ain't telling me nothing about what goes on between a cop and a suspect, especially in a situation such as that. They have a camera rolling. Who woke up in the morning that morning and said, yes, I'm going to shoot the first guy that we arrest off the side of the road on a pullover. A squatty doesn't wake up thinking about to do that. It, it, it. A squatty, your average squatty does not wake up thinking about who he's going to shoot when he pulls them over on the roadside. A state trooper just doesn't think like that. Yes, they are racist cops. Yes, they pull a bag of fuckery. But you have to think. A lot of these things come from certain situations. It's not just as simple as how people are putting it now. The media and even people in general. It's not just black and white like that. This one wasn't just black and white like that. I, I didn't even see a murder. I saw what appeared to be, please don't kill me, but what appeared to be an honest mistake. A reckless mistake, but in my opinion, an honest mistake. To tase him would have been the right decision. Yes. If I was a cop, I'd have tased his ass too. As far as how what happened after that and the mistake that was made, it's neither here nor there. It's too early to call it. Whether as to say if it was on purpose or whatever, whatever. But what I want to say though is my opinion, in my opinion, had he not did that pull away, try to jump in a whip and escape reckless bullshit that he pulled, he would have been alive today. And I'm done right there. Now, if you disagree, hit me in the comments. If you strongly disagree, hit me in the comments. If you agree, hit me in the comments. Share this. 
See what people are saying. Don't just be throwing around the cliche of what everybody is going around with and what everybody says right off the dickhead. This time, I don't think it was that. I think that was a bonehead move, son pulled, and I, it's really unfortunate. I really feel bad for his parents and his people. I hate that situation. I have a son that age. You feel me? And you know what? I would be tight to see that tape and to see him pull a move like that. Because I taught him better than that. Young guys, don't do that shit. When you know it's a rap and you're going to bookings, accept it and go. Spare your life. Don't pull no jumpy shit like that. Yes, they will shoot you. Fuck a tase. You've seen them gun people down out in the open, much less a taser. The woman sought to tase son. The fact that she was even going to tase him is a step in the right direction. These days, who's to say it? A lot of cops would have shot him right off rip. Tell me I'm lying. Bad boys, bad boys, what you gonna do?